Well, today I'm going to uh, show you how I gather up some free material for building a further projects. This is what happened with the windstorm a few weeks ago to my daughter and my son-in-law's shop, and it tore it up pretty good. So the insurance told them to tear it down, they'll build another one. So what we're going to do is we're going to salvage as much of this metal as we can uh, from the building. Uh, they're going to tear it down, wad it up, throw it away, so we're saving all the disposal fee by saving all the metal and wood that we can. So this thing was put together with uh, some sheet metal screws that were screwed in, but mostly with the old lead head type screws that were hammered into the wood and swole up to seal them. So I'm going to have to use a combination of a screw gun and pry bar. So a lot of this will be time lapse, but you'll get to see me tear it apart. Probably today I'll only get one side of this done. It's two in the afternoon. It's hot, it's humid, but it's cooler than it has been. And what I'll do is every afternoon when I get off work, I'll come out here and do a little more until the building's torn down. And uh, I'll show you the other damage that was done now. So as you can see, there was quite a bit of damage done. So let me get started now. Well, today's day two. Uh, yesterday, I worked out here for about an hour taking most of that uh, north wall down. However, uh, before I could finish, it got too hot, too late in the day, and my camera overheated and stopped recording. So I came back today to continue where I'm left off. So, day two.
Well, I had to stop uh, after I counted all the sheets. Uh, the entire north wall is down. All I have to do now is load it in my truck and tie it down. Uh, as you can tell by my shirt, which was gray, now looks black. Uh, it's hot out here. <laughs> so I'm going to put the metal in my truck, tie it down, and then when I get to the house, I'll unload it, and I'm done for the day. Uh, there ended up being 20 sheets that are 10 feet tall, 2 feet wide. So that's how much sheet I've got doing uh, one sixth of the building. Uh, that's one full wall or four walls uh, and then uh, two roof sections. So uh, I looked to get some 12 to 14 foot sheets and then a bunch of 10 foot sheets and uh, the door, uh, actually there's two doors on it. Uh, they're a little bit shorter. Uh, there's a lot of good wood in there as well. So I'm going to just slowly but surely get what I can uh, as fast as I can. Uh, now that I found out a faster way to do it than I did the first day, I'm going to probably do that. I can rip the whole wall down by myself in about uh, an hour, hour and 15 minutes. Um, that's doable. Uh, I can do that. So I'll do a smaller wall tomorrow which is supposed to be, I think, 103, uh, plus the heat index with all the humidity. And I'm only an hour south of Dallas. It's just that hot. Uh, we'll find out uh, how it goes the rest of the week. I'm hoping to save this up for one full video. And McGee, if you're out there, I'd like to see your comments and what you think about what I'm doing.